Okay, we're back for part two of <clears throat> the journals and picking pages. And I did have um, a children's poetry book that I forgot to take a couple of things from. So let me do that before we get into the other ones. <clears throat> it's just fun, all these little bits and pieces that you can do and this gives a lot of different size papers to the journals and just you know makes it more fun um, some of the things I'm gonna pick are going to be pockets uh, it really just depends um, what I do so let's just kind of go through. I want to get some, a couple of these cute uh, Benjamin Bunny things because they're just adorable, right? So I think it would be nice to each have one of these. A coloring page is always fun in a journal. So we'll do that. And then we'll do um, something from the actual book. The Peter Rabbit Treasury. And I'm just gonna take off the first two pages and, cause there's a picture on each one. So I think that works nice. And I'm gonna of course have to trim my papers down. These were just some leftover pages I had, <clears throat> which I think are really lovely and would be fun to just kind of include in here. Ugh, some really cool stuff. I think this one though is going to be the one I want to do. Okay. So much fun, so many things, you know. These are all the same. Just some vintage, uh, vintagey looking uh, Norman Rockwell type stuff. And I'm gonna just do that. All right, and then my next thing. Got a whole pile of papers. And it's just kind of fun to do some of the little um, things that are just cute. You know, they're just, they're so cute. So adorable, truly. Let's do this one. Lots of Beatrix Potter stuff, as you can see, I have a lot of Beatrix Potter, so that's what that is. And then I got some more different types of pages. I'm just going to kind of see. Uh, I don't want to use that. And I have this is kind of cute. This is from a story as well, which is kind of fun to just use little things like this. Not those. And not any of those. So I'm not going to do any of these. I'll just put these away. Then um, I've got some more things. So let's just go book by book. Oh, this is just lovely. This. Isn't that beautiful? What do I want to do? Uh, just kind of, well, this is super cute. So let's do this one. And let's do this one. Okay. Then I've got some um, fairy tale 
books. Oh, more Peter Rabbit, you guys. I think I have Peter Rabbit, like, everywhere. It's, it's kind of funny. However, let's go on to some pretty fairy tale things. Because I think there's some really beautiful... This is actually um, Beauty and the Beast. That's what this story is. put this here and I think we probably have enough of Beatrix Potter so put that away and then I have some more poetry type things I mean like this is really pretty and just looking for some pictures. Here's another good picture. All right, and we have some things like that. And what else do I have? Some kind of old fashioned. These are children's book books as well and I think these are so cute so let's do these um, and then I've got some <clears throat> stuff that's oh, I want this up here that is Mary Inglebright. So I just kind of go through it and see if anything stands out. Um, there's all kinds of little bits and pieces. This is kind of cute. I have to say, I, I do like that. And I like this one right here too. So maybe those two, and then let's look for something bigger maybe that I can make a couple of, make something from. Yeah, I'm gonna take these two because I want to um, make something with these so they won't they're just gonna sit on the outside because um, they're gonna be for extra pieces so I'm just gonna put those there all right I think that takes care of that box so I think I have enough <clears throat> of everything that I need I obviously have to do some trimming. So maybe we'll just uh, work on a little bit of trimming. It's always kind of fun. Yeah. Make sure we get this, since this is gonna be like a pocket type thing or a tip in or you know it'll be something so I just wanted those two pieces ready uh, no matter what I use them for at least they'll be ready to use got things over here I need to get through of course craziness all right, um, this. let's do this one. Yeah, so I I haven't gotten in my craft room as much like the past three weeks, hardly at all. It's really been hard to get in here, and I miss doing stuff. And so when I finally get that opportunity, it's really 
good. And I'm so glad I did get some time to, you know, get in here and do a little bit of work, you know, not work. Because to me, it's not work. It's fun. And I especially love it, you know, because I know I'm creating something for somebody else, too, which is fun. Okay, so before we have to cut anymore, let's take Abby's and let's go through the papers and stuff that I have here for hers. Um, some of these might need some trimming, some won't, and if it doesn't, I'm just going to put it over here. And if it needs trimming, I will trim a little bit just so it looks nice and neat. Oh, I just love some of this stuff so much. Yeah, so basically I'm making sure that the pages aren't um, too, like, they have to be a certain size so they don't stick out. And this is usually kind of five and a quarter, I think. Um, is gonna work for most of these so I'll do a little trimming just to make sure they are what they need to be that's good that's good this one definitely needs to be trimmed so we'll go like that and it looks like, as far as the other lanes, it's perfectly fine. Yeah, so this is just, you know, once you get your pieces, you just want to make sure you've got them trimmed to the right um, size. For your journal. Oh, I thought I put one of these over here. Apparently I didn't. So I better move that. Yeah, a lot of these are just um, fine. You don't have to do very much trimming at all in these because they're pretty close to what they need to be. Mm -hmm. Kind of feel bad I had to trim off some of that. Just you don't know. And it does have to fit. <laughs> and it is a junk journal. So I just like remind myself it's a junk journal. And you can cover up pages, you can leave pages, you can really do whatever your heart desires because they're just creative. So, so far so good. Let's see, does this need, this needs a little bit of trimming off because this is, this is too big. But here, a little bit there. This one I know needs trimming because this one's just way too big. And... I know it's got to have some trimming this way as well. Let's see. Um, still a tiny bit too big. All right, and then it should be pretty good this way. So it'll be fun to put this together because be decorating the covers and just you know it's just fun to do so this is kind of a in a way it's more of a I craft along with me while I'm like working on journal pieces because I mean there's not a whole lot else to do besides watching me <laughs> cut paper I'm sure that's exciting I feel like we are going to, to have to trim this and it looks like I'm a bit crooked. Not sure what happened there. I 
Yeah, all kinds of fun papers. I love this. This is a fun thing to do. Okay. Well, and this gets you a better look at the type of papers I'm putting in each journal. So you can kind of I cut crooked again. Why am I cutting crooked? I must be not having my paper up where it needs to be. I shouldn't, or this bar on here might not be folded where it needs to be, or I'm just doing a piece of paper that I trimmed, but you know, it didn't trim the way it was supposed to or something, I don't know. Ooh, I was worried. I was worried about that owl, but he's okay. <laughs> you never know. Make sure we're still staying within where we need to. This beautiful peony. I'm so glad that there was a peony in that book because that was important. This is good. Here's that piece of construction paper. It's a beautiful orange. I like orange a lot. And this lovely, lovely, lovely paper, which I'm hoping I don't have to trim. I don't want to trim it. I think I'm just going to trim some of this because I don't want to trim that one part. It looks so cool. Like, I don't want to trim the whole thing. Good. Whew, that was close. Let's just trim up this so it's even. There we go. Good. Um, then I have some things like these. Um, these are the type of things I like to make journaling cards and stuff out of. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, this also is a piece and this as well. I just like to make things with them that you can like use. This one I'm going to just trim. So these things can become ephemera, you know. Wow, talk about crooked. Ooh. Crooked, crooked. Let's get this baby straightened out. So this makes a good tip-in type of thing as well or some kind of a card it works really well because it's nice and thick this goes in the book and let's just make sure we're right on with that one these are going to be um, these pieces are actually going to be like um, tuck spots journaling cards pockets um, just different things. So I'm just going to get those cut into different sizes because that's always um, fun to do. And actually I'd like this one for a side piece and this one can be um, like this. This is fine the way it is. These will be belly bands, so we don't want to cut any of these yet because they can go two different directions. This works perfect for a tuck spot. Yeah, so you don't have to use everything um, in, in it. These, of course, are part of this, so these go here. I think this, um, I'm trying to think of how I'm going to have to do this so this works. 
Let me think. I don't, it's okay, I think, to take off some of this because I want it to not be, comes right up about here and it's just fine this way. All right. I want it to be a pocket. So probably I might have to just like turn it in a little bit to be able to use it as a pocket. Um, this piece, we just have to trim to the right size. Yeah, I really have to think about um, what happens with this. And then I usually just um, decorate, you know, I'll put something over the top of this. We'll put material or something along that line. And, and actually, I'm going to trim it because I can put the sides together for a pocket. So it's okay. If it's open, that's not going to be a problem. Let's make sure we are trimming these the right size. And this one. It's always fun to have some patterned paper in the mix. This will make cute pockets. So I want to be sure I have enough um, for pockets and stuff. Alright, and this too. These make good journaling card type things. There's really a lot you can do with this sort of thing. Okay. Very cute. This one, I think what I want to do I think it's a good, like, I'm just trying to think, you know, this one I want to make into like a journaling page and this one actually is perfect. So I'm not even going to trim that. And this one looks lovely, so I don't want to trim the um, edging off because I like that. And this, this, I really like this. Let's make this into another journaling page. This should actually go in the book. And what I think I can do is if I put it like this and take this part off, and then I just I just have to fold in the other part like this so it becomes a page like that. I think that's good. And the same with this one. You just want to take off that little bit of that edge like right here and then you just want to fold in this and so you get a nice Thing. So now what I'm left with is all these pieces now become pieces that are ephemera for the journal for Abby. And here's the cover and I'm just going to put these pieces in the cover for now because I don't want to get them mixed up. And then I have all of this wonderful stuff I can just put and fill this into one fat journal. And this is in the middle, so I don't do anything to the middle, but I can go through here and start, um, go ahead and put different things in to get this the way I want it, because it's gonna take quite a bit. Um, and really, I should just, I mean, I've got so much in here. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy. But I don't want that one there. Let's, let's go with this. 
Yeah, so I just start, um, I put some stuff up high, and then I'll put some stuff down low, and um, just to make it more interesting, because it's fun to do it that way. And I just, I'm just going to kind of go through and pull stuff out and just kind of figure like what I want to do. Some of this I had already planned like how I wanted it, so I don't want to change it up too much. But yeah, I just kind of stagger my pages, like all these go together really nicely. And then this would probably be a good time to slip this on. And then maybe put this one over it. And then I can come back to here and pull a Daphne's Diary. This is a fun one to pull right here. And oh, this leaf I think would look really good here. And then let's put this here, and then we can put a blank piece of paper and another of the Daphne's Diary pieces, like this. And maybe something that would look good on this. I think that would look good. We'll put that in the middle. And then we'll put this lovely owl piece here, and let's put this piece up here. Oh, and let's not forget these are important too. We'll do that, and then we'll do a couple more pages from the book. And then let's do... Let's see. Get this open. I think this looks good on top of here. And maybe the orange. And then this one. The mushroom on top of that orange would be perfect. And hmm, hmm. Let's put this on. And I'm just kind of looking at what I think, you know, would go. Put another piece of this on. Let's do this dictionary page and this page down here, or maybe the middle. I'll do the middle, and then we'll put that one there. And then we will put. We want a page over that, so we'll go like that. Another full Daphne's Diary and a partial. And then let's do this coloring. Or let's do Peter Rabbit. And then this coloring Peter Rabbit. And then we're going to do some of these book pages. Then let's grab two more papers from the that I had done before. Alright, and we can do this and this one can go up here and what else do we have? Oh, this one. Let's put this one here. And that. And maybe the glossary. And let's see, here's some more papers. We can put these here. And then we can go like this and like this. This is, I think, is a fun way of just getting some interesting layering in your book. Let's do this and this this one then we can do this one and then this is the last page and this goes here there we go Ooh. <laughs> it's crazy you guys okay so if we put it in here 
then we can see where maybe we got some pieces that are a little uh, sticking out though that's not a huge deal because I put um, I usually put a good amount of lace but what you can do then is you can um, just take a look and go like oh all of these here in the middle seem to be sticking out a lot so we should probably just trim them a little right so you can just take it and usually I can just keep going over and over and over I'll take some off put it back kind of go over some more because we want to get this off right there we go do some more <laughs> eventually we'll get them all but this will take care of any um, extra stuff okay so probably we want to get the rest of that probably just gonna have to go like this let's see So, I might just have to cut it with a scissor, looks like. I mean, I could take it apart some more, but there's really... I don't need to. I'm just going to trim it. And I have a couple where I feel like I trimmed kind of crappy, so we'll just go ahead and clean that up. All right, so put that back in the middle of the book, and now we should be okay. There we go. So we have one book, all the pages in, and um, before I actually sew up pages, um, I go through and I put all the pockets on and trims and different things like that and do the cover like I do a lace cover or I put lace on the cover and punch the holes. So there are several more steps to this and I'm going to put these in here because I don't want these to get mixed up with the other journal. But this is a big step um, on the way of getting this journal completed. And then I would be doing the same with Rosie's. I have all this pile of wonderful things. Some will be going in here and some will be um, ephemera as well. Let me see what time we've got. So we're at 30 minutes, so I'm going to stop. It is getting a little dark, but I'm going to let this be my break for this spot. And then we can come back another time and put her stuff together. So once you get it going like this and get the sewing and all that, it, it really goes fast. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.